Running back has been a perplexing position for the 2019 NFL draft. Some people think it's deep. Some people think it's shallow. Others are in between. We're going to look at Kentucky Kentucky Hall of Famer, maybe, Benny Snell, who was terrific in his collegiate days, but is it going to translate to the next level? We're looking at him next right here on DLF. The NFL Draft Profile Series, NFL Prospects. Break it down, let's get it. People's pin in the gridiron scholar. Time to do it major. Let's see who run in the field. Let's analyze the data. Yeah, let's go. So I mentioned Benny Snell is possibly a Kentucky Hall of Famer, but does that necessarily mean he's going to be a great NFL back. He had tremendous production. It was Kentucky's all-purpose go-to guy for everything in their offense. Now that we have the combine results, remember, please, if you're watching these videos, check the date it was released because some of these are going to come out after the combine so we can factor those performances in, Benny Snell being one of them. John, I know you weren't happy with it, so I'm going to turn it over to you now. What's your take on Snell now that we've seen some more of him? There is no player to me who lost more draft capital so far over this weekend than Benny Snell. I was really, really bullish on Benny Snell. I have watched a lot of this young man over the past two seasons. I really liked watching him at Kentucky, and when I analyzed the film, I was really impressed by it. Now, obviously, going into the combine, I understood that he was not an elite athlete, but I had expectations that he would perform closer to the mean. But after watching him in the 40-yard dash, the three-cone drill, and the 20-yard shuttle, Andy, I had to dramatically move him down my draft board right now. The athletic ability is just not there for a top-shelf NFL running back. We still have the pro day, so this young man better do a lot of preparation between now and the pro day. But right now, the athletic ability is lacking, so I am concerned. Now, what did I love about this young man? Andy, he's in a basketball school. No one would ever say the Wildcats are a powerhouse in the SEC. And he was the 2017 and 2018 all SEC first team. He was a freshman All-American. He's recorded three straight thousand yard seasons at Kentucky. He was only the third player in the conference with over a thousand yards rushing and more than 13 rushing touchdowns as a freshman and sophomore. He's in the same boat as Herschel Walker and Noshaw Moreno. You're talking about a prodigious career. His father was drafted by the Baltimore Ravens in 1998. And his great uncle is Matt Snell, the New York Jets Super Bowl three star. So you're talking about a young man who I was very excited about. And when I watch the film, I see a 5'10", 222 pound workhorse. He welcomes contact and he decks challengers between the tackles. He is patient with vision and power. He's a short strider and classic one cut ball carry. He's tenacious. He is definitely a young man at the college level who embraced 25 carries a game. If this was 1993, I think Bill Parcells and Bill Belichick would love him in the Giants or the New York Jets backfield, but it's 2018, my young man. He is slow through the hole. He lacks at least burst cutting and planting. We saw that in the athletic drills this weekend. He's not elusive, and he fails to break a lot of tackles. He is a limited pass catcher. He mostly is a check down option. And what we saw was he does not own any elite traits. I dropped him to a fourth round grade, Andy. He really shocked me on Friday with his poor athletic ability and his performance at the Combine. I still have hope, but my expectations are much lower. What do you think of Benny Snell, Andy? Well, speaking of the combine, I'll give you the numbers. He ran a 4.6640, which is not something you necessarily want to see for a halfback, maybe a fullback, but not a halfback. Yeah. Uh, his three cone finished sixth with a 7.07, and he was 11th in the 20 yard shuttle at 4.33. My notes on, on what I saw from him, he does have great size for the position, but despite good size, he doesn't run with great power to me. In short, yardage areas he can get bottled up now i do think he has good vision i do think he has good balance and runs with a good pad level he follows his blocks really well stays tight to them almost looks like he's running a slalom he can sometimes try to get too wide though especially especially if he sees just one minute to beat he's not fast enough to get to the edge at his current level much less what he'll be able to do at the next level so i think sometimes he should turn up field and just try to win with power especially in a one-on-one situation where he tries to win with speed which he just doesn't possess as we've now seen from the from the combine results he put the ball on the turf twice each season in his three years for a total of six so maybe there's some concerns there if we're going to knock somebody like miles sanders for his fumbling issues we have to start looking in a little bit to snell six in his three-year career kentucky 
12 of his 16 touchdowns came in the red zone. He can win there, John, and he will get a chance to prove that at the next level. I think that's where you're going to see Benny Snell win. I think he's going to try to put on some more weight and some some added strength and be that short yard, 5- to 10-yard guy for a team. He's not going to give you a ton in the passing game, as you mentioned. He also needs to improve in pass protection from what I've seen. You nailed it, though, and this is directly from my notes. He has the feel of an old-school running back, but the game isn't exactly the same, and he'll need the volume to be effective, and I just don't know that he's going to get it at the next level. How do you feel about Benny Snell? Is he somebody that you're willing to take a gamble on? I mean, I mentioned some people think this running back class is deep. I'm one of those that believes it's shallow. I I don't think there's any tier one guy. I think there's a bunch of guys clustered in that five to six range that could give you production. And it's really going to be dependent on a landing spot. And Benny Snell is going to be just off that cusp for me. I don't think he's going to get the volume he's going to need to be successful at the next level. But we'll see. He could be a touchdown-dependent kind of running back that at the end of the season, you, you look back and he had eight scores on the ground for you. So that could play, especially in a fantasy setting. What do you think about Benny Snell, though? Leave it in the comments. Like the video. Check out all the other players we've covered. Check out some of the other great articles here on DynastyLeagueFootball.com. You can see some advanced stats at my new website, ExpandTheBoxScore.com. And go check out John's other work and all the players he's covered in his articles on Football Diehards. Thanks for checking us out today. Hope you enjoyed it. See you next time.